Thank you very much. We now enter into, uh, looks like, City of Alan Austin cases. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is a VA 2018 01. Mr. Martin. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a request uh, for rezoning by BMC Investments. Properties located at 1828 East Park Avenue. This is the former Club Maria Lounge property. Um, they're requesting to rezone from Environmental Resource ER to Community Commercial, which is CC. Uh, property has a long history of uh, having a, that commercial use on there. However, uh, it has had either flood hazard or ER zoning since at least the 1980s which means that use has been a non-performing use for many, many years. Um, the applicant owns the property immediately to the west. They have acquired this property. Um, the club, by the way, had closed in 2014, so it's been sitting empty for several years. But the applicant has recently acquired the property. They are proposing to demolish the existing building and redevelop the property into a series of commercial buildings that are contractor, warehouse, and office related. Um, a copy of the conceptual site plan is there in your packet. I think we have one on the screen. Um, commercial use, um, this is, of course, has not been engineered yet, um, but this gives you an example of what could be developed um, under CC zoning with the contractor type uses. But of course, as you know, CC allows a variety of commercial uses. Comprehensive plan, this is the neighborhood activity center. It allows the possibility of up to CC zoning along East Park Avenue, which is a major road. Um, <coughs> zoning patterns in the area are mostly highway commercial. That's one intensity level higher. Those are currently non-compliant in the character area designation on the future development map. Um, but so therefore, CC is the maximum that they could ask for. But it does match the proposed uses by the applicant. Um, aerial. Of course, see the rooftop there of the Club Maria building, um, the applicant's property there to the west. A lot of vacant lands to the north and east. Most of those lands to the east have to do with the floodplain of Knights Creek. Some information about that is there in your packet. Um, but generally speaking, this is sort of the eastern edge of the little commercial node that is around the intersection of Park Avenue and J.C. Shack Road. And the proposal really is to fill in the gap of really the last developable piece of property going eastward on Park Avenue until you get to the other side of the Knights Creek Waterway. Um, staff is recommending approval of this after finding it consistent with the comprehensive plan and our standards for exercise of zoning power, and those are there in your packet. Be glad to answer any questions you may have. Man, I know it was uh, in our work session got brought up about uh, <coughs> Possible East Park congestion in and out, but you may mention to the commissioners that they, the road work was ongoing or about to start or something. What, what well, there's plans long term to widen um, East Park Avenue. Is that going to be four or three? Uh, four lanes eventually. I don't know if that is probably many years out, um, but of course, as you know, there's been some development further east that's going to regenerate some traffic. Um, like I said, this is conceptual in nature only. Okay. We'll have to go through full plan review um, in terms of the driveway and the spacing. But there is, um, and as an informational note for the commissioners, there is not enough here on this site plan to uh, warrant a traffic study. This does not want to generate that much traffic. Okay. Thank you. Commissioners, any questions for staff on this request? There being none, is anyone here this evening wishing to speak in favor of this request and come forward at this time? Good evening, sir. Could you state your name and address for the record? Good evening. My name is Mike McCall with McCall Architecture, 3308 Country Club Road, Boston, Georgia, 3605. Um, I'm here tonight representing uh, uh, BMC Investments. Uh, we are an architecture firm that's uh, been asked to uh, help them with this project. Uh, as uh, Mr. Martin stated, um, this is a project that's planned for redevelopment um, uh, for uh, basically commercial use. Um, uh, BMC Investments is Boston Mechanical Systems. Their offices are 
just one uh, door next door. So they purchased this lot next to them. They plan on redeveloping this. Um, some of the back spaces that they plan on redeveloping will be additional office space uh, and warehouse space for them for, for, for the work that they do. And then uh, the other spaces would be lease spaces that they would develop out as need arose on the property. Um, as Mr. Martin stated, um, the, prop, the, the site isn't fully drawn out yet. Um, we just need to know first if we can make this work. Um, and then they would go through that efforts of fully engineering the site. If you have any questions, we're glad to answer them. Mr. Zinn, any questions for the presenter? Ms. McCall, thank you very much, sir. Appreciate your time. Anyone else here wishing to speak in favor of this request? There being none, is anyone here wishing to speak in denial of this request? Please come forward. Anyone wishing to speak in denial of this request? Please come forward. There being none, commissioners, any discussion about this request before we take a look at it? There being none, I will take a motion on this request at this time. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Will. Make a motion, doing, sir. <laughs> yeah. I make a motion to recommend approval. We have a motion from Commissioner Wills. Do we have a second? I'll second. Got a second from Commissioner Roundtree. Any discussion on the motion? There being none, all in favor say Bob Rick, raise your right hand. And Ms. Carmel, that is also unanimous. Thank you.